is the presentation is visible yeah good morning guys today we are going to start with the types of data measurement and the classification scales what are all the types available we all know in our childhood day we used to study nominal data ordinal data discrete data continuous data when it becomes quantitative majorly it are all into two different types qualitative data quantitative data that is a major part of uh, data type when it becomes qualitative we, with respect to technical programming qualitative is termed as categorical data quantitative data is termed as numerical data nominal data anything we represent in terms of nomenclature nominal see gender men or women female or male hair color brown or black or white <coughs> ethnicity indian asian any kind of thing ethnicity so ordinal data these, these are all anything for example in the e-commerce business uh, size of the um, uh, uh, salwar will be mentioned with uh, xl double xl small large medium that all are example for nominal grade of students you all will be graded at the end of the examination a grade b grade c grade d grade fail grade whatever a pass or fail telling you each and every subject you are pass or fail these all example for nominal data ordinal data ranking especially rating when it comes uh, polling no you all will be rating when you rate people so that is called ordinal data how do you rate people so 1 to 5 likert scale or 1 to 7 1 to 10 you will be rating the workshop you will be rating the session you will be rating the trainer so you will be rating the product this all would become ordinal that we need to be very careful here one caution it will look like number ordinal means what finally rate my session i am asking you you will say excellent one i give you madam two three four i five it is worst i will give you eight something like that or you can go another way also one is for meant for uh, poor and the higher scale is meant for excellence so whatever may be you will be giving in number but that is that does not mean it is numerical that is why being the uh, data scientist the role is understanding the domain concept domain perspectives context and understanding the data description data type all becomes a matter so if you substitute that uh, rating of uh, the trainer one two three four to the model it will mislead your entire algorithm you need to convert it into categorical that is where uh, the caution we need to consider so this is ordinal this is nominal put together it is termed as categorical when it becomes ordinal we need to be careful <clears throat> never we will be asking you to rate a b c d rate me a b c d never people will ask rate the product quality one to five rate the customer service one to five rate the competitive price one to five anything they will ask in terms of rating numerically only you will prefer one or you will prefer worst or best whatever your choice or moderately good anything but those are all will be represented in terms of number that number is not numerical we need to be careful that is categorical <clears throat> when it becomes quantitative discrete data the number of workers in a company number of siblings number of children in a family discrete whole number integer whole number i can't say one and half members are my siblings i should not say either i can say no sibling for me or i can say one sibling only one brother one sister i am having that much we can say so that is discrete data number of students in a class always either zero students or 100 students 50 students never it is one and half student the number of um, home runs in a baseball game everything runs we will say five runs ten runs so runs continuous data the moment continuous data or ratio data whatever we say it is in the floating point temperature today's temperature uh, weight of the person height of the person height of the person we can't uh, deny 4.7 that is a matter growing one centimeter itself is a matter so uh, the society looks at height of the person personality also so that we can't discard that uh, i want only the whole number four feet 
i don't bother about your uh, other uh, measurements we can't tell that so that is uh, called continuous data the height of the children weight of the person the square feet of the house the speed of the car weather uh, degree or temperature anything so this all whenever ratio comes into the matter or floating point uh, if it is programming perspective it is called pro floating point data type these are all the data type but when it becomes programming it is of only two kinds one is numerical within numerical you have integer or you will have float programming perspective the moment another type if you come categorical that's all the moment you say categorical it is string data type <coughs> so these are all the two types we need to understand with the perspective of programming this much category not required this all for theoretical perspective to understand so again the description these all have been discussed right now so you can go through in the subsequent session categorical data ordinal data interval data ratio data anything in terms of uh, uh, floating point representation you put that will becomes uh, um, ratio data interval data so this is also what to say it's a continuous data or interval data arranged in a scale 1 to 7 1 to 5 likert scale see it is a, it is a famous likert scale is famous for polling or survey or for uh, what to say uh, it's a kind of statistical tool we can say so likert scale we say 1 to 5 likert scale mandates that 5 and above is mandatory if i ask you to rate within 1 to 4 that is not permitted globally so the standard of uh, statisticians to go for a survey or polling is 5 and above likert scale minimum you should keep 1 to 5 that is why you see if you look at all the workshops no google form they are sending everyone will keep 1 to 5 without knowing why the purpose of uh, 1 to 5 is minimum you can go up to 10 that is the very best quantification of the services okay now relationship of the business analytics or business intelligence process and the organization decision making this is the next topic we are moving on already we have come across with a similar diagram source of data it could be see when it becomes source of data i have brought one beautiful picture recently i got it i one minute i'll uh, go through that where it is then i'll uh, yeah i haven't brought here Uh, give me a minute i will uh, put it back that is uh, very important because source of data we should understand what is the core purpose of source of data just hold on i will bring that picture so that it would be much more better for you this clarity you should have because this is a trending part <clears throat> all the trending part also i am bringing the textbook which you are studying have been published uh, uh, probably 5 years or 10 years ago so you look at uh, till 1980s the word have come data warehouse business intelligence reports generation external data operational data these two data together it involves in etl process extract transform and load data mart this data marts will be worked for parallel processing that are uh, distributed processing data marts it will be converted into data marts what is the interesting point then they will convert it into data marts from the data marts you can go for business intelligence or reports 2011 onwards people are using the word data lake so when they use data lake what is a special uh, feature look at structured semi structured unstructured data it accepts image video audio text form all other flat data file log data flat data file will be accepted so data lake when you mix these all together it is termed as data lake then where it is changing data and pre processing and validation you can do with this data lake etl extract transform load also you can do you can convert uh, the premier purpose of etl is to convert it into data marts interesting point we were retaining 
then from the data pre processing uh, and the data validation you for this process you can go with the data science or machine learning or deep learning whatever etl also useful for real time data processing database real time streaming this is the core component people started calling it as data core like then from the real time database also you can generate report go for business intelligence or from the data model also you can go for reports and business intelligence see this is what uh, the introduction i wanted to give you guys you should understand this year onwards lake house this is a technical terminology if it becomes big data also any business perspective with respect to day business data you need to use this buzzword lake house what is the difference if you look at it accepts all the three types of data then what you are going to do data pre processing and validation business intelligence streaming analytics this is the power no here see look at there is no analytics reports and business intelligence we are looking at a lot of streaming analytics is analytics are possible machine learning is possible data science is possible the word comes lake house this is what i wanted to introduce you explore more what is lake house when you face interview you should be in the position to use this uh, terminology lake house that's all so source of data it could be the conventional model old model or this or this whatever that is the source of data perception of disequilibrium what is the meaning of disequilibrium it is a mathematical word anything doesn't suits well that is disequilibrium i am getting into one of the institution i am getting a new job i am getting or a new uh, uh, what to say industry opportunity i should feel equilibrium i should feel that this is my institution i should feel comfortable i should feel the ambience i should love that environment the working principle when then i am in the equilibrium state otherwise i am into disequilibrium that's all understand this is a simple analogy with that you approach when we will go for analysis if there is any potential problem challenges opportunities opportunity means uh, how we can profit make profit out of this analytics entire business goes with recent days only competitive uh, profitability is goes only with uh, uh, data intelligence now i will give uber case study also if possible today look at descriptive analytics this is for diagnostic process it works on monumental data monumental data otherwise uh, historical data monumental means larger volume that are all the buzzwords you should understand monumental data or case historical data either way you can write so this is for diagnostic approach attempt to understand what's happening in the particular situation or what's hap what happened predictive analytics this is for proposing future strategy solutions predictive analytics only will become solution for your uh, problem descriptive will give you a clue and direction that is a diagnostic approach then when it becomes prescriptive analytics this is highly stochastic model or optimization technique you need to use for the optimal solution for example uh, manpower allocation larger uh, firm manpower shifting shifting process manpower allocation allocation of the resources available resources how we can allocate fixing the price and dynamic price already i mentioned about air ticket railway never that uh, ticket rate will be changing this firm fixed up when it becomes see a travel bus every minute they will be keep changing the price next moment if the seats are more they will offer more the next moment one or two seats only available if people approaches they will double the charge they will do similarly for the flight also and ola uber these all dynamic price fixing model even all the e-commerce amazon flipkart within half an hour the price is changing either it goes for a higher price or lower price within half an hour uh, the, this when it becomes um, uh, this e-commerce services not too much price variation maybe 10 rupees 50 rupees they will increase they will reduce that's all but when it becomes this all traveling uh, agencies the way they fix the um, the uh, price is demand and supply model how much demand that much they increase the price that a supply goes uh, very costlier when the demand goes more that is why for the flight 
Uber and Ola sitting and don't uh, you should not click or search for is there any vehicle unless otherwise you need you are in need don't do that otherwise you will be increasing the competitive price of that particular ride particular moment that's all so the moment data source you should able to imagine visualize what's happening for past what happened what is happening every word you need to look into consideration it's a vast ocean so the field data science is not only in terms of analytics you should be in the position to deploy the model stream the data pipeline all the business process connectivity and the report generation and big data cloud uh, deployment and uh, analytics all together which domain you want you can choose it's a bigger picture so you should be careful source of data okay source of data excel it, it is not like that a source of data when it becomes business intelligence you need to think in higher perspective although book gives or not you should think in higher perspective see this is the latest technique going on next best action not only disequilibrium situation people are finding for the solution they will be thinking next best action today i am into some crisis i'll be finding solution for that i should not stop at that point alone what best what next i supposed to do i need to sit and predict all the possibilities for the profitability or for the loss either way or both not only the present need i need to think further think ahead this is what right now the industry expects next best action the keyword or terminology for this is next best action now the organization decision making process how it goes this is what articulation these all the inferences together we need to put it in the hands of business stakeholder outcome of all of these process measurable increase in business value and the performance finally being the technocrat we need to sit and brainstorm with the business stakeholder then technocrat business stakeholder can understand how the business can be profited how the business can be taken into next level but we should understand certain aspect of business likewise business stakeholders should understand certain aspect of the analytics all together only the decision process can be taken not only individual when it becomes action it's in the hand of business stakeholders not with the data scientist so we need to sit together and collaborate and take decision if the business owner himself is much expertise in analytics then our reports our interpretation our document our journals our articulation is more than sufficient he himself can take decision if not if either way the analyst is having certain amount of knowledge about business vice versa then we need to sit together and take decisions and collaborate together that is a final decision making process step then how the software need to be changed how the business model need to be changed how the component need to be changed how the processing sections sections need to be changed every other aspects they need to look into deeper then accordingly the instruction need to be given to the personnel personnel will be executing upon the given instruction this is how the business moves on that's it so almost uh, half of your uh, unit 1 we are done now in this junction you should be in the position to what is the difference understand or give the answer or having the clarity on difference between analytics and business analytics analytics yeah just applying all the theory formulas coding or your knowledge but business analytics is much more bigger the inferences what you got should lead to the business uh, Uh, decision making process either it should solve the problem or it should make profitability either way either uh, you can focus on what is a um, uh, um, pricking point what is a disequilibrium exist in the business scenario how you can uh, take it forward that is one scenario one perspective what else uh, other one always we need to look for profitability so that is the other one next is web scraping 
web scraping is big role they will be scraping data from all their competitive uh, business people so a lot of things we need to do and compare and make the decision for even a small product be it a 50 rupees product but if it is mostly popular and people are purchasing we need to give attention we cannot uh, say that it is after all 50 rupees products we should not say not only for lakhs to the product we need to even look at for even a smaller piece of product which is in the e-commerce basket and how that can be targeted the audience how the profitability can be made all those things we need to look at next what are the steps in the business analytics process in sequential how is the business analytics process similar to the organization decision making process why does interval data have to be relationally proportional these are all the few food for thought you should be in the position to answer and you should be in the position to understand as well now we have come to the next topic of discussion competitive advantages of business analytics i'll just hide the answer what is the meaning of competitive advantage of business analytics what we can do what what is the use of this competitive advantage of business analytics what is the use of this you can answer guys um so that we can uh, make better products and maybe we yeah, can writing. sell goods um, with lower so prices we can uh, make products with lower prices no audio quality i think uh, you can stop the audio conversation not even one word uh, we could able to understand there is a noise yeah you can use chat window or else okay competitive advantages of business analytics there are several avenues let us do one by one find more sales opportunities to create competitive advantage number one opportunities to promote our sales that is a very first how can you do that think digital perspective not uh, ml of marketing one on one marketing digital perspective or analytics perspective i have given the clue what way you can increase the opportunity find more sales opportunities to create competitive advantage sales promotion simply i can say sales promotion with profitability how can you do come on guys give any one idea you are studying the subject business intelligence you should have minimum intelligence sir can you say using digital technology you can you need to profit also make a profitable amount use to make decision if you go and tell technical terminology they will kick you out what you supposed to do action in order to increase sale how you can you do what is the thing you need to look for how can you promote digital sale promotion how you can do i don't know what you guys are doing thinking or uh, not capable of thinking i don't know see sales manager are able to quickly identify which customers are buying so you can target brand imaging you can target who are all buying frequently you can go for campaign with them you can promote you can give discounts special offers this is one method or else who is the vendor business to business logic provides that goods and services with the cheaper cost nominal price or the best price you need to keep dealing with them 
then you can make best profit you need to understand through analytics how the um yes are providing then what products are in decline what are all moving lesser how can you promote so these are all the prediction it is possible data analytics will segregate data anal analytics will segment segment or cluster clustering technique the customer who comes to you frequently it will segment and it will give you then what you can do with them do any kind of campaign mail campaign call campaign whatever you need to identify potential customers you need to promote them how can you identify potential customer two way one is either frequent customer you can identify and promote among them or the person who purchased the same product that kind of similar products in the past historical monumental data or historical data then you can target them so this is another method next is what what products are in decline that is called dead stock they used to tell before expiry date you need to push into the people's hand otherwise you need to throw in the dustbin you can't do anything else or you can return back so you need to that kind of data possibly available nowadays barcode barcode gives a lot of other information expiry data price few details about that product essential details about the products are imbibed embedded in the barcode that barcode re convert it into digital representation the digital data you can make use of it and you can infer out of those data so all those products you need to specially give a promotional offer or it comes business intelligence always you need to generate visual method you need to generate weekly monthly annual basis somehow you need to generate in order to understand the trend the pattern where the stagnation is happening where which are all the product not moving fast which are all the products moving fast where stock filling this requires inventory filling also product movement which product is moving first i need to fill the inventory i can't say no product out of stock out of stock then nobody will visit your website how many times you can say out of stock two times if uh, the notification goes to customer they will fed up never they will turn up to your uh, website or your business so you need to identify those are all the pin points which are all moving fast which are all moving slower and uh, inventory stock everything is interconnected business intelligence report not only profitability you inventory filling inventory is filled only you can make profit dead stock identification which are all not moving forward or which are all moving forward association rule mining you need to go for pairing giving offer waving or giving offer or discount for one product or rising another product then or else competitive price you need to merge you need to understand these two together how all other competitors are giving then you need to take that analytics advantage you need to reduce people are comparing 5 rupees difference also normally people will prefer uh, who is giving cheaper cost nobody bothers uh, <coughs> loyalty because we are not seeing human face to become loyal it's after all website so competitive price comparison every way this analytics useful for decision making a rough idea i'm giving you need to take part at least there afterwards <coughs> these trends highlights new sales opportunity trending will give new sale opportunity you can fill your inventory then that uh, stock is uh, made available in your uh, what to say warehouse then immediately you can keep moving on not only this see business intelligence not uh, this much uh, when it becomes reality they need to go for freight services good services what is freight services good services they are going by flight goods are arrived by flight arrived through flight goods are distributed through ships goods are arrived through ships and uh, uh, transportations and exclusive goods and services you will have your own truck amazon truck 
then which mode you are sending how you are doing dealing with them what is the uh, uh, stock you dispatch to them which service is going better without return or without damage that analysis also you need to do product is kept on damaged with one courier service or one freight service how long you can rely on excuse maybe two excuse three excuse four excuse you need to find out that tracking also what is the nature of goods and services you are dispatching with that uh, uh, deal with that goods and services whether that guy is doing or not all the goods and services cannot be given to professional courier certain freight services will be operated for import exported goods certain freight services operated for locally certain uh, services only to the uh, zonal within that region so there are different services operating everywhere you need to be alert and careful everywhere you need to take care of customer service customer satisfaction beyond that you need to take care of your profitability optimizing customer also should feel satisfied business owner also should feel profitable then n dimensions n angle you need to look at n different data you need to collect you need to take decision every minute think in bigger picture you will get lot of idea this is what you are going to become your assignment this is uh, important assignment every one of you need to submit a report without plagiarism i have plagiarism tool how the business intelligence is making you can use any use case or multiple use case also in which juncture which kind of analytics required how it is making the deduction that the prediction for profitability or at least generally you, you should write without knowing the name of the algorithm where the analytics is required how that makes that scenario to become profitable you need to keep uh, doing it beyond that you may get to one smaller mathematical assignment based on probability or statistics look at decrease the number of customers you lose and a competitive advantage in the business not only looking at frequently visiting customers who are all dropping out who are all not turning back you need to encourage them you need to understand them whether they are not in touch with you or their tendency of uh, purchase behavior is only seasonal that kind of uh, insights you need to infer how you can retain those customers into your business that is another perspective another discussion this is one of the software pocas pocas is working for these are all the kind of meaningful insights for the i want to say uh, business say lot of insights whatever we are discussing now their main purpose is giving competitive advantage of analytics for the business advice for the competitive advantage so that is a primary duty web scraping is essential for business intelligence understand always we scrape the data and we will be analyzing we need to be good at web scraping as well sorry we need to pull take the data which is available we work on it we should be good at web scraping as well that is the primary purpose of when you are getting a job you they, you will not be taking data from kaggle or github or uh, uh, from neighborhood fellow that data will not be helpful when you be in the position of your job role you need to understand what is a data source it is available or need to be generated or augmented data processing stages are plenty let us discuss that also later holistic picture if time permits we can discuss in the subsequent session the entire process of business if you want you can understand this is additional food for thought for you measure over and under stock overstock also understock also why overstock you should not refill understock you need to refill again and again refill your inventory should become optimum neither it should be overstock nor it should be lesser stock overstock you you can promote also you can think of sales avenues or you can avoid placing the order how these are all happening look at alibaba amazon services flipkart shop close these are all the websites uh, myntra how many products they are promoting 
they need to fill the stock they need to target the audiences they need to collaborate with the services they need to collaborate with the payment gateways several banking transaction is happening credit card debit card paytm paypal what not google pay so many transactions interact with that also log analytics see it is having nowadays basket picking also for example they will ask you to pick the product keep it in the basket then just for i used to do this uh, quite often i will pick all the clothes and ornaments or all to whatever i want no uh, it will be tempting i'll put it in the basket if my mood is good i will purchase otherwise i will cancel that also they are observing and they will be telling you are uh, telling the name hi lakshmi you are interested for this product we are giving special discount for you would you like to offer immediately pop up message is coming so who is sitting and watching lacks to other customers data intelligence is doing this all on behalf of the business so that is where you need to bring the everything is having a logic being a computer science student should look at what is coming to your message how it comes why it comes you should think not like a common layman you should not look at the pop up messages like common layman that is so they are doing creating competitive advantage of business using intelligence avoid dead stock this is what i discussed about dead stocks are what stagnant and stock then about to expire in one month or about to expire in two months the within the two months how can you promote within the three months how what you can do for that what is a precaution you can do whether you can add preservative or you can send back to the vendor or you can target the audiences for the promotion what you want to do do some of campaign anything you do targeting the customers or open ad social media advertisement do whatever how can you promote that dead product dead product alert should come that is also different dead product means food and beverages different scenario we need to be more careful food and beverages when it becomes all other commodity services all other services it is different scenario every product has its own lifetime if it is not used it will have more durability if it is once used then it will have different scenario so that all comes into the matter you need to categorize the goods and services then how to identify dead product it becomes different within beverages and food items itself there are few food items need to be sold out within a week there are food items you can stock it for more than 3 months also so that also you should need to you need to sub categorize then alerts need to be given whether you need to dispose yeah you are of course facing laws finally you need to dispose because customer complain they need to face legal policies legal procedures court orders consumer court is available any customer can go and complain in the consumer court then it becomes legal action they need to give legal explanation not only profitable here it leads to loss dead stocks so how you can identify how you can prevent how you can promote what you can do lot of things you need to infer when your commodity services are more and more how your human brain can look at see if you go to grocery shop i'll be confused a small shop in the narsapur looking at all the item what to buy what not to buy where is a total confusion how the business owner can run the business maybe this small uh, uh, shops for kirana shops are okay but when it becomes larger showroom they need to automate they need to look at every perspective beyond that their personal management they are gave, giving payments lot of layers of workers are available topest intelligence guy to automate middleman to work between the customers or all other services and the topest guy then all the other external services 
internal services laborers within there they need to look at that perspective also see then here every human is connected with the goods and services it is not uh, when we look at academic scenario teachers are analyzed separately students are analyzed separately no need to blend together and no need to take bigger actions and all but when it becomes a business every human is associated which is section which department is handled by which person anything goes wrong in it that, that entire line supply chain need to be tracked so how it is happening that all you need to think bigger picture sit and think a business scenario first visualize the business scenario don't behave like a common layman sit and analyze about amazon sit and analyze about uber how the business is happening no need to understand algorithm not at all required right now i say first understand where and all the intelligence is going where and all the data is playing a role first to come to the common picture then you learn about algorithm any moment we can learn algorithm algorithm is not at a big challenge you guys are thinking learning algorithm is a challenge you need to have broader perspective holistic perspective it is not a data analytics subject be careful this is business intelligence you should be in the position to deal with your intelligence towards the business so in that perspective you need to start thinking and you need to answer in the subsequent sessions and all okay next gain a clearer view of the profitability of your rebates program all your campaign programs how you can do this is a return rebates program what is the things coming back to you that all the things coming back to you how it makes your profitability or how it makes you affects your business so you need to think that aspect also then a report any business owner or any business stakeholder if they keep on asking give me the report give me the report it won't go fast all the business owners should be in the position to see the report whenever they want whatever they are interested for only then business will go forward for that automation data speaks they need to click the button they need to understand what's happening not relying on another human being that will make delay that will make the change in perception itself the business owner will be telling something the fellow will be understanding something then he will be doing something else uh, for the report generation then what the business owner is expecting that report will not arrive to his desk because human perception what he is telling that way i will understand then i will generate report then who is responsible for that instead all the things need to be automated business reports br business intelligence bi br and bi should be in the palm touch of the business owners this is what happening in recent days that is advantage of business analytics or intelligence increase the speed and accuracy of reporting create competitive advantage in the business because of this hangama all the transition delay going and generating the report perception change and scolding and getting back brainstorming how how long you will do by the time the other fellow will uh, sell uh, close the counter that is the situation is happening now every minute is a matter 365 days is a matter so that is why intelligence or auto generation is happening with that note today i am concluding let us continue with the same discussion in the forthcoming session as well